Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our last session we discussed about k-means clustering and k-n algorithms with example and previously we discussed about classification regression then probability bias theorem algorithms with example. I have mentioned machine learning playlist link in below description box. Now in this session we will discuss about the next topic that is hierarchical clustering. So let's see. We will discuss following points in the session that is about hierarchical clustering, why hierarchical clustering, their types, what is dendrogram, the example and applications. So let's see one by one. The first point is about hierarchical clustering. So basically hierarchical clustering is another unsupervised machine learning algorithm. Means it is based on unsupervised machine learning technique. We already discussed supervised unsupervised reinforcement machine learning techniques in our last session. So hierarchical clustering is based on unsupervised learning algorithm. Why? Because hierarchical clustering group unlabeled data sets. There are lots of data sets are present and some data are unlabeled, some random data are present. So they work on that particular data set. So it group unlabeled data sets and into the cluster. That's why it is called as hierarchical clustering or HCA. Now this unlabeled data set clusters will be displayed in hierarchical format and this format is called as dendrogram. See here this is a tree structure. So in this way hierarchical clusters will display. So we will discuss this particular theory with example. So the next point is why hierarchical clustering. So first we already discussed k-means clustering algorithm in last session, right? What is the concept of k-means clustering algorithm? First point, it is based on supervised learning technique, right? Second point, it has predetermined number of clusters. It means that before solving the example, you must know the how many clusters are there. So you predefine this thing that is k is equal to 3 like that, right? And third point is every clusters having the same size in k-means clustering technique. So hierarchical clustering is just opposite of this algorithm. Hierarchical clustering is solve this two kind of challenges and this two kind of problems in this particular concept. First, it works on unlabeled data set, not a label one. Second, there is no need to predetermine number of clusters, right? Because here is we don't need to have a knowledge about the predetermined or predefined number of clusters and there is a no same size of each and every clusters right so that's why this hierarchical clustering work on unsupervised technique the next point is types of hierarchical clustering there are two types one is agglomerative clustering second one is divisive clustering see here in this diagram agglomerative clustering always work from bottom to up approach and divisive clustering always work or they will perform or form the clusters in top to bottom format. So these are the two types of clustering. Now just see here in this example, first agglomerative clustering. So agglomerative clustering always form the cluster from bottom to top. Now see here, there are some bottom single clusters are there like P is a single cluster, Q, R, S, T. Now, so agglomerative clustering form this two cluster and made this one cluster that is P and Q. Similarly, S and T combine into ST cluster. Then again, R is combined with this ST. And after that, at the last, these two clusters are combined with this, that is P, Q, R, S, T. So in this way, they work from bottom to top. On the opposite of that, see here, that is divisive clustering. So divisive clustering work top to bottom. Means there is a, only one cluster is there and you need to devise those cluster into the single cluster or multiple clusters, right? For example, PQRST, this is the one main cluster is present. So divisive clustering divides those cluster into the two parts like PQ or RST. Again, those divide into the two parts ST or R and again this divided into the single cluster like S or T. Similarly, they divide those cluster into the PQ again divided into the P and Q that is single cluster. So these two types of clustering will work as per the requirement of your project. And this is a kind of type of hierarchical clustering. Next. Next point is what is dendrogram? So what exactly dendrogram? So dendrogram generally used as a representation of hierarchical clustering. See here, this is a tree type diagram and it shows 
the hierarchical relationship between different data sets or different clusters for example this a b c d e f these are the clusters or single clusters or this is called as leaves and after combining those cluster like a b and c these three clusters are combined here this is called as clades okay so in this way these clusters are represented and it's easy to find out how many clusters are there by using this dendrogram so this is called as dendrogram it is a hierarchical structure represent different clusters now the next point is examples so this is a example of hierarchical clustering now just focused here on the left side this is the left part so here it represent agglomerative clustering see here there are different clusters are present first cluster p2 and p3 second cluster p1 is combined with that that is p1 p2 and p3 right the next cluster see here that is uh, p5 and p6 after that p4 p5 and p6 this is another cluster and at the end these four cluster are combined with the one cluster or in it is in in universal cluster right so now this agglomerative cluster is converted into this dendrogram format see this is a dendrogram structure this is called as hierarchical clustering now on the x axis there is cluster name or data sets are present on the y axis euclidean distance are present there is distance between each and every clusters right so first you need to find out the distance between cluster by using euclidean formula so we already discussed this euclidean distance formula in our last session okay now just focused here the first cluster is p2 and p3 right see here p2 and p3 so this form into the one cluster and this is a particular distance between this two cluster okay now next p1 is combined with that so p1 is combined with this cluster p2 and p3 right next see here p5 and p6 so p5 p6 is combined into the one cluster and p4 is attached with that so p4 is again combined with this cluster right as per the particular distance and at the end all these clusters are combined with each other see here these two cluster and these two clusters are combined with that and as per their particular distance okay this line represent the distance on the y axis okay so in this way this dendrogram represents the particular clusters so as per the dendrogram you easily identified how many clusters are there so basically it is a representation of this agglomerative clustering next again uh, this is a description about that particular example you just review those uh, review this explanation of this particular example now the next point is application of hierarchical clustering so hierarchical clustering generally used to identify the fake news there are different words are related to the fake news like false information rumors spam news fake news disinformation so hierarchical clustering identify or analyze those words and combine into the one cluster so this is called as misinformation cluster next identify the criminal activities then again document analysis purpose so this is a real life examples of hierarchical clustering so hope so you should understood about hierarchical clustering with examples thank you keep learning